All right, guys, I just want to show this um, plugin I created for MinOS um, on top of FreeNAS. So it's in the repo, so you can just install it. It takes a while to install. It'll take even longer when you do it because you have to go download it. I think mine is already cached, but um, and the plugin is pretty large because it has Java. It's like 100 megabytes. Um, this is a support thread I created for it. Basically, I'm saying that um, the, the required version, you need to have the latest FreeNAS, 9.2.1.8, or a more recent version. Um, because of, of this special module, it, it mounts in the jail. Um, how to update it, I'll try to show that. And then if you restart, if you reboot FreeNAS, you have to restart the plugin manually, and that's because that module isn't automatically mounted. And then I kind of explained the, to the best of my knowledge how users and groups and passwords work in MinOS. Basically, it's connected to the, sh the actual accounts in that jail's user land. So if you don't want to mess with any of that, just use the default username and password and don't port forward it to the internet. So basically you could only edit stuff on your local LAN, or you could figure out how to do all that stuff and, and do it that way. So yeah, there you go. Um, these are the settings for it. You can see, you can enable SSL, put all that stuff, um, pick a different language, mask your password. This is where the Minecraft server things, the base directory, where they're all stored. So um, the way I did it is I, I would, like on my production machine, I, I mounted this onto a, a data set that's mounted into the jail. And then I just snapshot that data set and I back it up. But I'm just gonna use the default for now. So save your settings and then start it. So now if FreeNAS ever reboots, you're gonna have to manually turn shut this service off and turn it back on. And that's because of that special um, uh, thing that's mounted in there. So now notice sometimes it logs you in automatically, but it won't work. So you have to click on this guy and log out. It's like a little bug. I think it's because I've been testing this, so like I have a cookie on my browser. Okay, so MC server, MC, that's the default. So here's the actual interface. You're gonna wanna create a profile. You can create a custom one, or I'm just gonna pick the stock one. Then you have to update that profile in order to grab the latest jar. So if you update it, you can get a, a newer jar if like they update it 1.8.1 or something. And then I went and got it, and this check mark went. You can see there's a little there's a little green notification in the corner. I'm not sure if that showed up in the recording. So now I'm gonna create a server. I'm gonna use the default port, but if you're running multiple Minecraft servers on your MinOS instance, you can pick different ports. And then I'm gonna pick that profile that I just created. And then I'm going to increase the amount of RAM because 256 seems kind of low. And then I'm going to click start server on boot. I don't know why that's not default, but that's the way it is. So now I'm going to pick my server. You're going to click start and then you're going to re notice that it doesn't work. And that is because you have to accept the EULA. So that's just something that you have to do nowadays for some reason. So now, and then it's still not gonna work, so you're gonna have to stop it. Once you've accepted the EULA, you're gonna stop it, and then you're gonna start it again. And it should work at this point. So you can see here. You can see here's the console for that server. I don't know how you get it to auto refresh. I don't think it does. If you just press something, it'll show, it'll refresh. I already created a thing here, but let me show how you do that. So you click add server, you put the IP address here. I don't know if you see that, that's my jail's IP address. And you can port forward to this and put it on the internet too if you want to play with friends. And I'm not going to put a port because I'm using the default Minecraft port for this server, but you could run multiple, like I said. And you can see it worked. And I'm now playing Minecraft. And this is on my server. And you can see on the console it's updating. And you can run you can run commands from here too. So that's pretty much how it works. You can run as many servers as you like, just depending on how much RAM you have. This thing will kind of help you along a little bit if you need it. And let me just show you how you would update that. Um, I'll just do the easy way to get on there. I'm just get on the command line for the MinOS jail. So whenever MinOS updates, 
you have to run this to if you want to update. And basically it's doing a git pull of the latest source. So there was no updates because I, I just built this thing late, late, really late. So I mean, I just built this like recently, so no updates since then. But if there are any updates to MinOS, that's how you update the plugin. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, you can post on that support thread. I'll see you guys later.